So how do you kill procrastination? <laughs> the biggest time waster out there. Now I can give you the advice. In fact, I will give you the advice that most people will give you. And that is the hard ass, tough love advice, which is do what you're supposed to do. Stop making excuses and stop finding other things to do other than the thing you're actually supposed to do. All right, stop wasting time. Stop making excuses. Stop blaming people or blaming your circumstances for why you're not doing what you're actually meant to do. Now, I know that's easier said than done. I get it. I, In fact, procrastination is something that I constantly fight. It's just like continuous battle that you keep, you basically just gotta fight it every single day. Now you've got other things that maybe looks better. Maybe you've got a TV program that you wanna watch over doing the work you're supposed to do. All right, so you're always facing procrastination. So it's easier said than done, I get it, all right? Which is why I'm gonna give you a, another piece of advice, which is a lot more practical, that you can actually, you can implement that the moment you're done watching this video, all right? And it will literally kill most of your procrastination, a lot of it at least, all right? And that is basically, you need to get the hell off your phone. <laughs> now you're probably thinking, what the hell? How the hell can I get off my phone? My life is in my phone. I mean, that's that's what it is. That's what it's all about, right? I mean, you use it to make calls, text people. You use it to run your business and check your emails. It's without your phone, you, life's not the same. I get it, right? Now, when I say get off your phone, I don't mean toss your phone aside and that's it. No. Yes, I get it. You've got to run your business through your phone. And today's, especially in today's generation, you've got businesses that rely on social media in order to actually grow those businesses. So in that sense, I understand you need your phone. What I mean is get off your phone when you're not supposed to be on it, right? If you're using social media for your business, good, great. Do what you need to do when you're done, put your phone aside. Uh, because what happens, I may not have my numbers 100% correct, but the average person spends between two to four hours a day on their phone. And I don't know about you, but that is so much time, all right? Now, if you can take some of those hours that you're spending on your phone and put that to what you're actually supposed to do, it's gonna make a massive difference. Imagine an extra two hours a day that you can dedicate to what you're meant to do, all right? Now, Again, if you've got a business that relies on using your phone, social media, I understand that. That's a totally different story. You're actually doing what you're supposed to do, all right? But stop scrolling unnecessarily for Facebook and Instagram, wasting time that way, all right? Now, the next question you can ask is, well, how the hell am I supposed to watch these videos, such as this one, without my phone? Here's what you want to do, all right? This type of video and any other motivational type of video, a video that gives you some sort of knowledge, is the way of you bettering yourself, all right? Which is perfect. So what you wanna do is every single day, you always wanna take some time to better yourself. Whether that's reading a book, or listening to a seminar, um, whatever that may be, you wanna take some time to better yourself. And this, you can use your phone to watch videos like this in that particular time. You know, so say for example, your day consists of work, exercising, a little bit of self-development, and some relaxation time, all right? Work when you're supposed to work, don't waste time, just do what you're supposed to do, train when you're supposed to train, self-development, right? You wanna hop on your phone, you wanna watch a couple of videos that's gonna better yourself, perfect. When you're done with that, push your phone aside. And then you want relaxation time. So sometimes you want to go on YouTube or Facebook and you want to watch some videos. It's maybe funny, entertaining. Pop that into your relaxation time. All right, now it seems like it's this kind of uh, strict schedule kind of thing. And you know what? Yes, in the beginning it is. All right, but like anything, do it for 21 days. It becomes a habit and it becomes natural. And all of a sudden, it doesn't seem like it's this schedule that you've got to follow. It's just habit all right now in my opinion that works because people don't realize you get on your phone maybe to post an Instagram photo perfect that's fine that's what you got to do but then something else catches your attention on Instagram 
and all of a sudden you see yourself scrolling. Oh, cool, perfect. Same thing on Facebook. You post something and then you see this crazy ass video, you watch it, and then you've got related videos and you watch that and before you know it, you spend 10, 20, 30 minutes at a time doing something that you could have, you could have used the time doing something else. All right, so that is my biggest practical tip to use. Get off your phone, all right? Use it for what you need to, but anything else, if it's wasting time, just throw your phone aside. I promise you it's gonna make a massive difference because once your phone is out of the picture, you're kind of bored. You don't know what to do. And all of a sudden, you've got no other excuse not to do the thing you're supposed to do. So, would you like that piece of advice? If you don't, it's cool. All right, I'm just throwing that out there. That works for me and that is my experience see what it does for you yeah procrastination it is it is a tough one it's literally kick my ass over and over but enough is enough you gotta do what you gotta do